Hi Stampers, my name is Sandy Hancock. I am an independent Stampin' Up! demonstrator and I want to welcome you to Utterly Awesome Stamping. Today I'm going to show you a card called the Corner Flip Card. Let me show you how this looks on the inside. Come on, is that not just the cutest thing? Okay, now there is a little tiny bit of cutting to this, but please don't turn the video off because I promise you I'm going to show you a little helpful hint that I believe is going to enable you to make this card. So let's get started. And I'm gonna show you some other cards I've made with this style. First, this is a card that was sent to me for my birthday. And I thought it was so cute. This is from my friend Michelle. Isn't that so, so cute? Okay, so then I did the flower and field papers. That's also a celebration gift. I used two large and one medium daisy and I'm probably going to put a little daisy inside too with whatever greeting I choose. Okay, then I saw what Rachel Tessman had done and Rachel Tessman did this idea with a little half inch band by four inches and then just put the strawberry or whatever paper out of the berry blessings that she was working with there. And um, I just added some rhinestones to give it a little pop and then inside you are going to put a berry and a stem in your greeting. Okay, and then the one I'm going to show you today is also out of Berry Blessings. Of course, blue is my favorite color. And I switched it up just a little bit, put rhinestones on the band, used so, stitched so sweetly for this, and uh, happy moments for the greeting. You always have a way of making my day with the blueberry. Okay, you always have a way of making my day is from Happy Moments. It's in the, cele uh, no, it's in the main mini catalog. All right, here are the three sources I'm using for these um, cards. The first one that I mentioned is the Berry Blessings. So with a $100 subtotal order out of Celebration, you get to choose the set and papers. They come together as a package deal. The papers are 12 by 12 and they are beautiful and this is where you always have a way of making my day that I absolutely love. Okay the second one I showed you, it well one of the ones I showed you is from Flower and Field. This is a, a gift with a $50 subtotal. They're busy and I thought oh what would I ever do with such busy paper. Okay they are so beautiful and then the last one is the Darling Donkeys and initially when I saw that again I'm thinking hmm what would I ever do with Darling Donkeys. Okay, they are so cute. So let me show you how you're going to be able to maneuver this, whether you're good with numbers or not. All right, now, for those of you that are really good with numbers, just give me a couple of minutes to bring everybody else up to speed. Um, you know that when you divide something into parts, like it, if, if we're dividing it into eighths, then it takes eight parts to make a whole, right? Anything less than that is a fraction. Well, what we're doing is this, and we need to start at 5 eighths of an inch from the corner, come to here to the end of the post-it note, up again, stop at 5 eighths. Well, how are you going to figure out 5 eighths? Okay, well, here's how you do it. Take a post-it note, this is 3 inches square, and just put it on your grid paper. If you don't have grid paper, then you can just simply use, um, you can use a ruler. All right. So now, if we count in between the inches, we can count one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight lines, right? We want five eighths, five of the eighths. So we're gonna not count the three, we're gonna start at the next line, one, two, three, four, five, and we're gonna put a little line right at the five eighths of an inch. Now, coming the other direction, this first line is divided into sixteenths. Well, I'm not gonna count sixteenths. So I'm gonna disregard the little lines and just look for the longer lines and again, I'm going to count one, two, three, four, five. So when I get to five, I'm going to make a little mark. And then I'm going to do the very same thing two times on each side. So let me show you what you're going to end up with. You're going to end up with this. After you make your little marks on each side, just draw lines to connect all the five eighths inch parts. And you will understand in a moment why we're doing that. Okay, so now. I started this video several times before, I kept getting interrupted, so my designer paper is already on my basic Knight of Navy cardstock. This is the Berry Blessings. So what I'm going to have you do is take the sticky side of your uh, 
post-it note and put it right in the corner. So disregard the designer paper. You're going to put it right in line with the Knight of Navy cardstock. Got it? Okay, so there we go. Got that. All right, so now let's get the cutter. And the first thing you're going to do is turn it so that it's up and down like this. So the designer paper is going to be at the top and the plane is going to be at the bottom. You're going to open this up and pull the cardstock over two, three inches. Okay, there we go. Now, if you're really good at numbers, you can just take off the, um, the post-it note. Uh, I'm pretty good with numbers and I still like to have the post-it note on there. Okay, so now on your cutter, let me see if you can see this. Well, on each side, right in the center is a little indicator of where your blade is hitting. Okay, right in the center. So what you're gonna do, this is why we had to draw the lines all the way across. Okay, so I'm gonna put my blade right down on the 5 8 inch line. That's why I put an asterisk here, because I want myself to know, oh yeah, that's the place I start. Okay, back to three inches. Okay, I wanna start right at three inches. Okay, now I already cut this, and then the phone rang and I had to answer it. Hello? Okay, what is keeping me there? Okay, so um, I'm going to put my blade down right at the asterisk, 5 eighths of an inch, and I'm going to pull it, I've already done this, pull it all the way to the edge of the um, post-it note. Okay, that's our first cut. Now we're going to go swivel this way. So now the... Um, designer papers on your left. You know what, by the way, let me just pause. Do not practice on your real paper. Go get old paper, old cardstock, and practice this. That's exactly what I was doing. This is not old, it's cinnamon, but I still was practicing. Okay, so now pull this again into the three inch mark. And what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna put that, whoops, come on, stay on the three inches. I'm gonna put my blade down right Oh, there's what's happening. I'm going to put my blade down. It's getting stuck there. Okay, putting my blade down right at the... Uh, no, I'm coming from the edge. Let me make sure I'm doing this right. Yep. Okay, I'm at three inches. I'm putting my blade right down at the corner. And I'm going to go from the corner all the way down to my asterisk which is again at the 5 8 inch mark. I even took off a little bit of the paper. So, you know, you might have to redo this occasionally. Or maybe you can do it on a piece of acrylic or something that's a little more permanent. Okay, so I've gone from asterisk all the way to the edge, down the edge, just as far as the asterisk. Are we good with that? Okay, so I'm gonna just show you one more time up close what we did. Okay, so we went, we started at the asterisk, which is 5 eighths of an inch in from the side. We cut all the way to the edge of the post-it note. At, well, up, up here. I'm following this, but actually the cutter is up here on the edge. So we're at the edge. We're cutting all the way over to here, to the edge of the post-it note. Then we're cutting down the edge again of the post-it note to the asterisk. So I'm leaving 5 eighths of an inch. Got it? Okay, so now you can take this off because your cuts are made, and let's see if they connected. They did. Every once in a while, mine don't quite connect, so I just take a pair of scissors and go snip, and just finish whatever little part didn't get caught. Okay, now what I'm gonna do is take my white, and I had to switch from stamp and seal because it is giving me a fit today. It's just pulling up my paper, I don't know, hello. So I switched back to snail. Okay, so now I'm gonna put this inside because I wanna be able to see where this is going. Okay, so now watch what I'm doing. I'm taking the end of this and I'm pushing it in, in and back, got it? We've got the cut, we're gonna push it in and back. Now, I'm gonna massage these corners just a little bit because I don't want them going down harshly. And here's where I want them. The reason I wanted to put my white in is because I want to make sure 
that I have the same distance here as I do here. So I'm trying to eyeball it. Just kind of eyeball it and get it lined up. And then when you think you've got it eyeballed, take your bone folder and nicely score the corners. Okay, do you see how we did that? How easy it was? Okay, so just, that's why I'm saying practice on practice paper so you don't ruin, because you don't wanna ruin your designer paper, right? Okay, so now the next thing that we can do is open this back up and you're gonna put adhesive all along just the edge. And go ahead and get that down. Okay, so there we go. Now what I've done is I have, I'm looking and I know it's right here and I know I'm gonna find it, here it is. Okay, so now you can do whatever you wanna do. You can do the opposite side, which I, you know, you can do that. I decided to make it match. This is a two and three quarter inch piece of designer paper. Okay, so I'm gonna put this, uh, let's see which direction do I want it, I think this. I'm gonna put this right here, like this. Okay, so now we've got this. Okay, so now what you wanna do is you wanna get a band matching uh, the, um, the color of the main cardstock. And for me, this is gonna be Knight of Navy. So this is one half inch by four. And I'm just gonna pull adhesive down there. And I'm just gonna put it, oh, you know, wherever you think. Just making sure, it just kind of fills up the space and looks nice. And then I'm gonna take three of my large, oops, pop up there. I'm gonna take three of my large rhinestones. I'm not gonna put them in firmly into place until I get them kind of lined up there where I want them. Okay, over you go. Hello, okay. All right, so let's just, okay. They're giving me a little bit of a hard time. I'm, because I don't want to stick them down yet. Okay, uh, I'm almost happy. Are they, yep, I think we're close enough. Okay, so now I'm gonna pat them down. Good, okay, so now what I did is I stamped the thank you from Happy Moments. Again, you put anything you want. You can use any shape you want. And I did use my stitched so sweetly. And I'll have to say, I was just so happy. I came over, I took this one out, and I took the, so the, the smallest and the next smallest in this little configuration. And I used them, I put them right back where they belong with my magnetic sheet so I do not lose them. And so I am going to put the thank you onto the larger stitch so sweetly, right in the center. And then you can either use dimensionals or, you know me, I love to just take, it's not like I'm trying to save my dimensionals. It's that I don't necessarily want my greeting to be as high always as a dimensional might land it. And I certainly don't want to cut out additional ones of these. So I'm just going to pop on some of these. But if this feels laborious to you, isn't that a good word? Laborious. That was one of my 12th grade words in high school. Laborious. Okay. That feels like, you know, just old paper, old cardstock. It could be any color. It makes no difference what color it is. You could cut out whatever you want. Okay. So I'm just gonna put this right here. You can even see a tiny bit of the designer paper. And there you go, we've got the front. Isn't that just so super cute? Okay, so now what I'm gonna do, I have to turn this around. I'm gonna take the greeting that I told you I loved. You always have a way of making me smile. And I'm gonna stamp that in just jade. Nope, I'm sorry, not just jade, garden green to match the front. Then I'm going to take the outline of the blueberry, stamp it, and of course this is the strawberry if you stamp it in red. And then I'm going to, I just realized my paper's crooked, okay, I'm going to stamp it off because I don't want it very dark. Stamp it again, and I'm going to take my little stem out of Berry Blessings, 
And I'm going to just add that. There you go for the inside. I'm happy. All right, so are you happy? I just think this is so cute. If you just want additional bling, you can add as much bling as you want to this. But uh, I would really encourage you to try this. Here again is my little donkeys. So this time I just added the matte black. I used the smoky slate. And, um, oh, I can't think of the name of what I used. Hello, the pink. You'll think of it. The light pink for the... Uh, Okay, doesn't that frustrate you when you can't think of it? And again, the thank you is from uh, Happy Thoughts. Then that. Okay, so thank you so much for joining me. If you've enjoyed this video, please subscribe to my YouTube channel. And all the details will be on my blog uh, for, the, for the cards. I will look forward to seeing you next time.